Hey guys, it's Rainy Nights. I just finished watching Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, a 2023 horror movie that somehow is able to get its grimy little hands on uh, a beloved childhood uh, franchise that, yeah, I was obsessed with. This is, I just want to introduce you, this is Pooey. You know how everyone, every kid has like a blanket or a stuffed animal or something that they're attached to? Well, this was mine. And, uh, yeah. Pooey's not impressed. So, before we get into the video, if you could please leave a like and subscribe, I would be very thankful to you. Um, I don't know where to begin here, to be honest, because I don't know what I expected, but I was hoping for a slightly fun, campy, sort of B-movie trash for Halloween. It's October right now. Um, and also there's the novelty of the fact that it's taking a children's animation and turning it into a horror movie, live action. But, uh, yeah, this one was not it. It's already been confirmed for a sequel, by the way. So, Blood and Honey 2 is coming, and I'm probably going to watch it, but I did not enjoy this one. And I am not going to enjoy number two either. But that is just my curse, I guess, as a movie sort of critic, I guess, you know, self-appointed movie critic. I am going to make myself watch Blood and Honey 2 if I'm able to get my hands on it. But it's not going to come up for another year probably, but... Boy, so the premise is um, extremely simple uh, and almost stupid, and I hate it. So basically, Winnie the Pooh is a kind of mythological creature that lives in the woods with his friends including Piglet and some other ones. Uh, a young boy goes and meets them, befriends them, feeds them, and uh, I guess the animals, the creatures, rely on him for uh, just their way of life, I guess. I don't know how, but I, I guess this kid's robbing his own households for supplies that much that they're able to live off of it. So the young boy eventually grows up and uh, goes to college to become a doctor. By the way, like, what's the point of mentioning the fact that he's become a doctor? Like, uh, it, it literally has no bearing on anything. It was so out of place. It's just little pet peeves like that bother me. It's like, what's the point? Just tell me he's going to college. I don't need to know what his exact profession is. It doesn't matter at all. Okay, but yeah, he's going to college to become a doctor. And um, this boy uh, gets a wife and uh, returns back to the place where he would bring the food to feed the creatures and animals. Um, but this time things are kind of creepy. There's like blood everywhere. I think there's like some crude drawings and yeah, the camera doesn't really show you, but the wife kind of picks up on that something's wrong. Uh, she orders his husband or her husband and herself to hide and then Winnie the Pooh comes back, kills the wife, uh, kidnaps the boy, and uh, if it wasn't stupid enough already, this is where it actually, this is the only part I actually care about that, that rubs me the wrong way. So apparently Winnie the Pooh has a personal vendetta, so he hates all humans now, but he has a personal vendetta against the boy because he went to college and grew up basically and left him. Um, and also an important detail I forgot to mention, the reason that they're all murderous and evil is because once the boy went to college, they uh, did. They were starving to death, and they succumbed to basically cannibalism, um, eating one of their own, and which drove them insane. And now they uh, now they kill people. So, yeah. Um, and then the second part of the plot, I guess, is we're following a group of um, London girls who go away on a uh, a friend get together sort of getaway that, that was supposed to be peaceful and relaxing because one of the friends is being targeted by a creepy stalker. And yeah, this, again, the stalker has no bearing on this plot at all, so I don't even know why the stalker is a thing. Um, so yeah, um, so the positives, what is it? Uh, there's a lot of pretty girls, There, there's a boob or two. Um, I like the girls' voices, their, I like their accents, and uh, I guess the, while I hate the premise of the film, I guess the location they chose was appropriate and decent. And also, while I felt the kills were almost too gruesome for me, like this actually kind of crossed the line for me, that is going to be one of the positives because there's not a lot of reasons to watch this. So if you want a very gruesome, over-the-top, bloody movie, then this is the one for you. It's only like two or three kills, but they're very 
very severe, all of them. So, yeah, negatives. <laughs> Do I need to explain it myself? It's a, uh, it's a shoddy. I wouldn't even call this a B movie. I'd say it's an insult to all B movies out there because B movies can be enjoyed. This is more like an F movie. So this is a low budget, shoddy, pr produced piece of crap that should not exist in the first place. I feel like, as a non-religious person, I felt like this movie was sinful. Like, this was really, really bad. Um, just in the fact that it exists. I don't, I don't think it should have existed in the first place. Or, if you were going to make it exist, which it does, unfortunately, I think it needed to be less serious, more campy, and uh, also explore more of the childhood relationship thing because that was supposed to be the driving motivation for why Pooh is such a maniac but it was not impactful or connect connecting with me at all it's like you get like a 30 second sort of uh, pencil drawn illustration of the child meeting the creatures and then you sort of jump into the future and we get right into the action so it's like okay that wasn't enough I'm not satisfied with that uh, maybe give me an actual scene of, uh, I mean, I don't expect high quality CGI or anything, but you're already, you're already pulling every trick in the book. We've got the shaky cam, the darkness, all of that stuff. So I'm sure you could have pulled it off where we could have had a scene where Pooh and his friends were still innocent. I wanted to see Pooh be innocent once in this film, at least. But no, he is just straight Michael Myers, pure evil. So, yeah, um, really, really bad. There's honestly more things, and I was just blinking on one that I wanted to talk about, but I mean, literally, it gets everything wrong. You know, it does not get any one particular thing right. Uh, the characters are disposable. Um, they, the characters actually, they're cheating, actually. They, they, they somehow they know uh, things that they're not supposed to, that the audience knows. So it's like whoever was writing the script forgot that the characters aren't omnipotent and that they're supposed to be like in their point of view still until they learn that stuff. So I have two examples for that. Um, but that's just like, that is a general thing for lack of logic and believability in the film in general. So the first thing is the wife. So the wife doesn't believe in mythical creatures and she's only accompanying her husband or to be husband um, uh, on this little hiking trip to find that little, you know, grove with the animals just to support him and be there and just, you know, just say, hey, I'm here with you, and uh, let's go see them, maybe, you know. So she's in disbelief, but once she actually gets to the camp, um, it's like a little drops of, a little bit of drops of blood and stuff like that, which we don't even know if she saw, by the way, that's just what the camera's showing us. To me, it looked like a fairly normal place. Like, it wasn't like there was corpses hanging from the roofs or anything. It looked like a fairly normal place. Um, so the fact that she's like, uh, the fact that she like is just knows to instantly hide in that threats are coming. They don't even hear like footsteps or anything. Uh, she just instantly knows to go under the uh, bed and stuff like that. Okay, but maybe that's just some sort of sixth sense survival instinct. Okay, moving on. But then there's another one, and this one's more annoying to me. Um, the many of the girls, not all of them, admittedly, but many of them uh, are are aware that Pooh is not human. Way too soon. Almost like the very second they see it. Uh, and this is illustrated even more as a problem because later in the film there will be these four tough dudes that come out of their truck to protect the girls and try and like scare the, the guy. And the reason that they're doing that is because they don't know, they don't realize it's a creature. They, they think it's a, just some silent tall guy in a mask. Which is basically what it is by the way because that's the last negative I'll talk about. Um, the creatures don't look good. This is, um... I'll give you another example for this. So the reason why the creatures don't feel or look like creatures at all is because the little details that make these movies more believable aren't there. For example, Pooh has... So Pooh and Piglet, they both have ears obviously in their animals, right? Their ears do not twitch or move a single time in the entire film. They are these static rubber prosthetic props, basically like a face mask. So they are completely... Like, even if he like shakes his head, it's just completely still. So it really felt to me like it was just a, a dude in a mask, which obviously it is, but that's not what it's supposed to feel like when you're watching it and experiencing the fun, or the supposed fun horror, right? So yeah, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, gets a 1 out of 10. It is one of the, not the single, but one of the worst movies I've ever seen personally. Yes, I have seen worse than this, um, and I'm sure I'll make a top 10 worst movies ever 
one day, but let me just get a few more notches on my belt before I do that. I need to watch Cats before I do that. That's on the list with uh, Judy Dench and James Corden. I think that's going to be worse than this one, actually. And I haven't even seen it yet. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Please do not buy this movie. Please do not make the mistake I did. And, uh, yeah, let's hope that um, the second movie gets cancelled or heavily delayed to the point where it just can't